Hi, this is a Raspberry Pi 4 case that I just printed up. Uh, the original thing I found on Thingiverse, this is the original thing here. Um, I'll put a link to the Thingiverse page right here in case you want to download the original. Uh, my remix I changed up a little bit. Uh, what I did was first of all I put heat set inserts into the bottom. Uh, so heat set inserts are these things here. Um, I bought these on eBay. Uh, so you can press them in with a soldering iron around 230 degrees into PETG. That's what I usually print with. Uh, lower temperature for PLA, of course. Um, but the nice thing about these is you get a very clean implementation. You don't have to, like, retain a screw or something. And uh, because you're metal on metal, it's pretty durable. So pulling the case apart. See the Pi 4 is in here, it's installed also via the uh, thread certs from the bottom. These are M2.5 by 6 screws. The screws that are holding the top half down, those are M2.5 by 16. Uh, so the other difference between my thing and the original one is I remix it to be a little less tall. I kind of like these uh, Raspberry Pi short cases. So you put that on there, got access to the GPIOs real nice um, versus the original one, you know, it's kind of taller. Uh, so it really depends on whether you, you do that sort of GPIO work and then I find the, the shorty case to be more convenient. So the parts are all interchangeable. You could use the, the top that I remixed with the original uh, thing uh, or you could use the original thing's top with the thread cert version of mine. So the lid goes on here and it's secured down with M2.5 by 16 screws. I think by 14s would probably be better. Uh, the by 16s are a little long, but these are what I had. And then the, um, the original lid will go down with M2.5 by 20 screws. Finally, um, a note about material. So the Raspberry Pi 4, it does feel to me like it gets pretty darn hot. There's a firmware update that's supposed to uh, make that better. But especially due to the heat, I think it's smarter to print this in PETG than it is to do it in PLA. Uh, you might even want to do something even higher temperature like Pryline Polycarbonate uh, would get you to 100 Celsius. Uh, the materials I have chosen are Atomic Filament uh, Cherry Red and Atomic Filament Marble. Uh, that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this sort of thing interests you, then please subscribe and I will make more of them. Thank you.